there YouTube. I wanted to talk today about the LiPro Balance Charger IMAX B6. Now this is not made by R Sky RC, uh, which is the actual creator of the real one. This is a Chinese knockoff that you can get on Amazon. And I wanted to go through some simple setup. Uh, most people are gonna be utilizing these to uh, charge batteries and also discharge batteries and that's what i use it for i actually created a diy battery charger which um, is what i utilize to actually do all my battery charging just for the fact that uh, i can leave them let them charge up and uh, have them automatically shut off but uh and which this one could do too but I heard that the IMAX B6 is not super accurate on its voltage readings. So I decided to go this route and just use this for discharge. And I wanted to go through a quick, uh, I guess, overview of how I utilize it. So I basically just throw a jumper, uh, clip it on with some alligator clips, and then just use a standard... Uh, 18650 uh, holder. Let's just sh turn that on right there. As you can see, it just jumps right into the lipo charge. Um, and you can also see that when I turn that on, it turns on my battery charger. Uh, blue means that it's been fully charged. Now, all I have to do with one hand is take one out and place it in the cage here. So let's take that. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Okay, so that's in there. And then I go to my LiPro IMAX B6. Get it right. And uh when it first turns on, it usually goes to whatever this default for the LiPro charge is. And as you can see right here, it's 2S uh, 7.4 volts at uh, 0.1 amps. Now, I don't want to actually charge, I want to discharge. So you go to this button here, and that will change it to LiPro or LiPo discharge at 1 amp. Uh, and it's going to knock it down to three volts. And it also says this 1S. Basically, 1S stands for one single cell. Um, versus if you were to look at the side here, um, it has uh, four cells, three cells, two cells, six cells, or five cells. And that's mostly for balance charging, which I've got those actually on order from Amazon be coming in soon so I can balance charge my batteries after I've discharged them and calculated my uh, my basically amp hours uh, on here so what I'm gonna do now is since I've got the battery loaded and I've got the mode in which I want to discharge the battery all you have to do is hold down this button It'll do a battery check, and as you can see, I got uh, 4.14 to start off, and it is discharging at this rate right here, and it, this is the current live voltage that it's reading, the discharge time, and then the milliamp hours that the battery uh, has. So I will record when it completes what actual milliamp hours I have. Okay, so the charger is done with its cycle. You can see that right here it says that it has ended. It will also beep like four times to let you know that the uh, the discharge is complete. You'll see that it's uh, at three volts and it took 100 minutes and eight seconds to discharge and that it ended up with a uh, milliamp hour rating of 1667. And you want to make sure that once it's complete that you mark your battery with the milliamp hour so you can know the capacity of the battery. You can only discharge uh, 
each battery one at a time. So this output right here where I got the jumpers connected to is for discharge or charge of a single battery. Um, these other uh, sections which have uh, multiple cells uh, that you can hook up cannot discharge, only charge. So that is pretty much wrapping up the IMAX B6 that you can get from Amazon and I'm sure eBay. Um, they're cheap knockoffs, but they do what I need it to do. Um, and in this case, uh, it worked pretty well. And even if the voltage was slightly off, you know, it's pretty close. I, I can at least group, since they'll all be off, I can group like batteries and make battery packs out of them for uh, future product, projects. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and uh, catch you later.